today's video will be talking about muscles. So movement itself is the basic property of a living system and muscles enable an animal to move. So they are able to move by the contraction of the muscles and this enables the movement of the animal. Now muscles are attached onto the bone by tendons and muscle contraction is one of the key processes of an animal's life. And there are three types of muscles, skeletal, smooth and cardiac muscle. So it's all also important to remember that although uh, when we talk about muscles generally, they we talk about movement of the body, but there are also internal muscles as well, which enable a lot of processes like digestion, reproduction, excretion and circulation to occur as well. So the diagram on the right shows you the skeletal muscle, which you can see, which is attached onto the bone. And uh, we'll talk about the three types of muscle here. So we have skeletal, smooth, and cardiac muscle. So skeletal muscle gives shape and structure to the body. It enables the animal to maintain posture and remain upright. Also enables movement and communication as well. We also have smooth muscle, which helps in breathing. It also aids hearing and vision and helps digestion, reproduction, excretion, and circulation. And finally, we have cardiac muscle, um, the, the heart is made up of cardiac muscle and the contraction of this type of muscle is what enables the heart to pump blood. So muscles themselves are generally considered to be biological machines because they're made up of proteins and the function is to convert chemical energy into mechanical work and force. And this chemical energy is going to be obtained from ATP and creatine phosphate. So when we're talking about the functionality of muscles, there are five basic characteristics, and those are excitability, conductivity, contractibility, extensibility, and elasticity. So excitability is what enables the muscles or the cells of the muscle to receive and respond to stimuli. Conductivity is where they receive the stimulus and transmit a wave of excitation or electrochemical activity. Contractibility is what enables the muscle to shorten in length when it's stimulated. Extensibility is the ability for the muscle to be stretched and extended. And elasticity is the ability to return back to its original length after the contraction. Now those are the five functional characteristics of muscles. I've included three diagrams here which show you the histological structures of skeletal muscle, smooth muscle and cardiac muscle just as an extra to be added in the video. And the next video I'll make will be focusing on these three uh, muscle types and the, and the differences between them in much more detail.